No Need Dutch Oven Bread. Seriously, this is the best no need bread recipe. Something great, quick and homemade. It is utterly delicious. So what are you going to need? Well, the first thing I like to do, because it is a cold winter's day here, is to just warm my bowl up. So I get some hot kettle water and I just then tip it out and I then dry it all off. Then to the bowl, I want 380 grams of strong, plain bread flour. I'm using white because it works well. And then four grams of dried instant yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and around 300 mils of warm water, not hot, just warm. And simply, all you're going to do is just mix that round. It is quite a sticky old mixture, but that's fine. That's exactly what we are looking for. Then it's just a case of popping some cling film on it and a tea towel that's clean. And you want to sort of let this rise for a while. You could do it after an hour, but seriously, it comes out better if you let it rest and rise for around about three to four hours. Then you're going to get your Dutch oven or your cast iron casserole pan. I will put a link in the bio for you so you'll know what to get. It's great for casseroles, curries and everything else too. To prep this, basically what you have to do is you have to preheat it in the oven. So you pop it in cold with some water in the base so that it doesn't damage it and then pop it in the oven and then turn the oven on to 220 degrees centigrade. You want to let it preheat for half an hour. So whilst it's preheating about 25 minutes in, that's when you're going to then look at your dough and deal with your dough. You want a heavily floured surface. So take some more of that strong white bread flour and just really drench the surface. This is, like I said, a sticky old mixture, but there isn't much kneading to it. All you're going to do is just fold it sort of in that flour and roll it and just sort of into a ball. Then you're going to take some baking paper, some parchment paper, and just make it into sort of a very large circle. Pop your dough on top. And then pop a couple of slashes into the top. Now to deal with the Dutch oven or the cast iron pan, you want to take out that hot water, just be careful. But as you take it out, it literally dries itself. Then very carefully, pop your dough in. You can see I'm just sliding it in there very gently without trying to burn my fingers. Pop the lid on and cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you're then going to remove the lid and we want that really nice golden brown touch on top. So you're going to cook it for a further 15 minutes. Then it's done, it's cooked, it's ready, it's glorious, delicious. This truly is the easiest, nicest, no need bread recipe. I wish I could tell you actually how long it lasts for because simply this is gone in a day in our house. We have such greedy gannets, but you know what? Absolutely delicious. Go make this, go try it you won't be disappointed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want the full written recipe, go to my website, cookingwithemily.co.uk.